Welcome everyone to this video, and in this video, I'm going to be mixing my C41 powder kit. Now this is the Unicolor powder kit. Um, I just, when I got on Amazon, it was like 30 bucks, so it wasn't too bad. But this is my first time mixing it, and I figured why not document me mixing it. Now from what I've been reading, the big thing about Unicolor, which all chemicals is, you have to keep to be mixing them at the right temperature. Now, by reading the instructions, the correct temperature is 102, 110 for the developer, 110 for the Blix, and just clean water for the stabilizer. So I'm gonna have to be kind of keep an eye on that. I have my stuff set up right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera over and let's do this. Okay, right now I'll be doing the developer first, so just 800 milliliters. Thermometer, make sure I'm at 110. Okay, it's just above 110, so I'm gonna let it cool for a bit. Okay, right now we're at 110 ish. A little Put my thermometer away. So we're going ahead and open the developer. I got my instructions here so I can get read it. So okay. Okay, let me get some scissors. While I'm stirring, I'm going to add chemicals. Make sure it mixes well. Before I continue, I like this thing. Okay, get this ready. Then we're going to add some more water once I feel like this is the mix very good. Let me get this ready. Another 2,000. There. I'm going to some more. Pour into my developer bottle. Spill, don't go too fast. Okay, I'm going to wipe this off because I spilled some. Okay, now I'm going to do this, put this in here. Now I'm just going to shake it up a little more. Make sure it's all mixed up. Okay. Wash off what I spilled. I think I got my developer all mixed up. I 
Yeah. And I just, right now I just marked a D here. I might get some uh, masking tape and do some later. Let me go ahead and put this aside. Now I'm going to clean up my um, mixer here and my stir here. And I'm going to get ready to do the Blix. Now the Blix has two parts, A and B. So and from what I'm hearing, this one I'm um, actually kind of foams up a bit. So put that aside and let's go ahead and clean this up. Okay, now we're working on the Blix. I'm going to, while this is cooling down a little bit, I'm going to actually open up these containers here. Yeah, this definitely has a strong smell. So this one I do have to be careful about. That's the reason why I have a, uh, a towel here. So if it does start doing some stuff, I can easily just, uh, um, I can clean up. Okay, so, got that, got my one, got my two, let's see how they're doing in temperature. So I'm waiting for it to be 110. Which we're good here, okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and get it ready. While stirring, add click save, and turn out that. Add click B. So I'm going to be slow with this one actually. This one has a reaction to the actual water. There you go, that. Stirring that up. I'm going to add the Blix B part, which is probably the part that adds the actual... Ooh. Yeah, this one adds the actual... This one you definitely want to be doing in a well ventilated area. And probably with this one, I'll probably have gone instead of 800 milliliters to 700 milliliters starting off. Okay, I'm going to get my water. This up here. Okay, it's not a lot, so don't add a little touch there. Slowly add this to a ball here. So I would definitely recommend leaving a mat down when you're doing this. Okay. 
I want to kind of watch. Okay. There we go. The Flix is now all mixed. So next, all that's left is stabilizer, and from what I'm reading, stabilizer is just the easy one. So let's go ahead and uh, get everything cleaned up and do that one. Okay, so next is the stabilizer, and stabilizer is the easy part. It's just this little powder here. And this one just contains 1,000 milliliters of clean water. Then we're going to take it and just uh, my first time mixing up the chemicals for processing film in a long time. I've done it in college with black and white, but I've never done it with color, so that's the first time doing it, and all in all, it doesn't seem that hard to do. Just have to make sure you got the temperature correct, that you're not mixing the developer and the blicks, and you're keeping everything nice and clean while you use it. So next time I might um, have two um, mixing cups, but that'll be for the future. Right now, this is a test, see how everything works, and try to process my own film quickly. So I'm going to try to process a roll of film soon, hopefully. Probably the video will probably come out after this, so the next day. But overall, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, I definitely recommend doing it in a well-ventilated area. That Blix does have a strong smell. And I would probably, with the Blix, probably bring it down stuff eight, starting at 800 milliliters, bring it down to 700 milliliters, then bump it up to 1,000. So I hope this has helped you guys and maybe alleviate the fear of mixing your own chemicals and doing your film processing at home. And just to give it a try. If you're 18, if you're under 18, do it with a parental supervision and ask them for help. So, because I would recommend that, and definitely doing it in an open ventilated area definitely helps the brain. I would say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Also, you can follow me on my Twitter, Instagram page, where I post everything there. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.